happens. This is a huge moment, not only in my life, not only in my family's life, not only in the foundation, but for these kids and for the whole city. Hey guys, welcome to The Conservative Poet with me, Amanya. We've got to talk about it. LeBron James and his broken promises. LeBron James and his broken promises. The I Promise School has failed. It is failing the students there. So we're going to talk about that. And from what I understand, LeBron James Foundation gives a whole lot of money, millions of dollars to this school. The government gives millions of dollars to this school. There's so many sponsorships and programs, even several of the school, uh, uh, several of the news outlets that I picked this up on uh, uh, had to give their disclaimer that they give money to the school. So everybody's giving money to the school. There's so much money to be given, so much money to be had, but yet these students are still failing. Come on, LeBron, what's going on in your house? Let's find out. If you're interested in that, then let's go. of the Akron Public Schools District, but receives additional funding from the foundation. Last night, there was criticism of the school after state test scores showed none of the now rising eighth graders scored proficient in math. Lydia Aspara reports. As I promised, the school backed by the LeBron James Family Foundation gets ready for the new year. The Akron School Board reflects on the past year in last Monday's board meeting. I'm looking at the current seventh graders. And so for three years, not one child passed the state test in math, not one for three years. It is, it is discouraging. It is discouraging. A chart shows for the 22-23 school year, no seventh grader passed math. And only 1% passed the previous school year. Has there why there is such a difference between the results in ELA and in math? There are several factors, according to Stephanie Rosa for the LeBron James Family Foundation. She tells me the kids in IPS are the bottom 25 when it comes to learning and in the Akron School District. Most are at risk. She says the pandemic affected the children when it came to learning. They required in-person teaching a more hands-on approach, and she says they come to school hungry, sometimes homeless, and always in need. But that pandemic is over now, and they are pushing forward, says Rosa. In a statement, the principal, Stephanie Davis, says, when working with students who are achieving below grade level, growth is as important as a measure of progress as proficiency. Rosa adds, while they have been challenged, students are meeting the... I am seriously struggling, y'all. I'm struggling to understand how do you fail with so much money, right? LeBron School not only offers scholarships to the graduates of their their school they get scholarships to any college like paid school like if i was anybody in america right now i would move to lebron james's school just so i can get a free education right these kids have a free ride but yet they can't pass the scores they can't do math Zero, I mean zero, seventh graders pass your math test, which I'm sure is not even that hard. Three years, and with all of that money, they offer tutoring, all kinds of extra help. I mean, they give so much, but yet these kids are still failing. So. I'm going to assume and say that maybe money's not the problem. Money, maybe they're not failing because of money or opportunity. They're failing because of the culture.
How do you fail with so much resources? Smaller classrooms, one-on-one tutoring. I mean, so much attention. But yet these kids still can't hack it. Three years. I would bet money if this was a Christian school, we would be looking at a whole different setup. With these schools, it's just a smaller version of the public school. That's all it is. So they're being taught the same curriculum that kids, and they're being taught the same woke nonsense. I'm sure of that because that's what the public schools does. They don't really teach children. They don't really teach you that this is proof. Not one child, not one child, not one child can pass the math. Not one. Come on. Something's got to be wrong there. If you have so many resources, so much money, but yet they can't. So it's the culture, but nobody wants to talk about the culture. So as I was saying, if this was a Christian school with a Christian curriculum or a curriculum like My Father's World, students would probably thrive. Guess what? Because they would have pride in themselves. They would have pride in their work. And even though the home situation might still be bad, but I have seen Christian schools thrive even though the student at home may not have the best situation. But because they get fed so so good, they get fed that, that knowledge, that nurturing, that biblical teaching, they're able to thrive no matter what. I've seen it. I'm, I'm living it. I'm seeing it every day with, with, with Christian ch- schools in, in, in my community. So I know it, Christian curriculum is, is good. So whatever this woke curriculum that they're teaching, again, set up for failure with all of the money. Again, if you don't have God, it ain't going to go nowhere, friend. It ain't going to go nowhere. All that money and you're still failing. We're going to read an article. We're going to brace through an article about all of this. Come on, let's read. Thank you all for watching and sharing the content. I really do appreciate it. Now we're going to have a word from the sponsor of this video, Mammoth Nation. Thank you so much. Save America. Save our values. Save our traditions. Stop using woke platforms to spend your money. Stop. This episode of The Conservative Poet is brought to you by Mammoth Nation. Mammoth Nation is a conservative marketplace where you, the patriot, can go and purchase the items that you need. Mammoth Nation is an online subscription-based platform. So you have to be subscribed in order to get all the wonderful discounts. You can get up to 70% discounts on so many of the stores. They have phone services, um, services for food, traveling, hotel. They refuse to let anti-American companies join their platforms. The vendors have been carefully vetted and have been approved a conservative American values, which is one of the reasons we have partnered um, because I do love what they offer. I love that they are offering opportunities to American um vendors and american creators as well so we are trying to put america first here and that's one of the things we do on this channel and so i support mammoth nation and what they do to put conservative american businesses first so visit mammoth nation today so you can get the discounts that you deserve with american made products so use code amanya s that's a m a n i a S again, that's Amanya S for your discounts today on these amazing opportunities. So, this article is uh, from our friends at Breitbart. So, report not one eighth grader at LeBron James's I Promise School has passed state math test in three years. 
Not a single eighth grader at the I Promise School, LeBron, in Akron, Ohio, a school founded by LeBron James, has passed their state math test in three years. And critics are blasting the school for its unkept promises. When LeBron James dropped into Akron with great fanfare and media coverage in 2018, promising to fund a new sort of school to help educate young people in his hometown, many hailed him as just he was the savior the city needed. Dung, ta -da -dung, King LeBron coming to save education in the inner cities. It's a beautiful story. Yeah. But James... I promise school fulfill its promises. No, it did not. Test scores are showing that it hasn't. It hasn't. Now, even Akron school board members are beginning to question James's commitment to actual education and wondering if it was more about burnishing his reputation as a philanthropist than a serious effort to reform and rejuvenate education. You think he was looking for opportunities to pat himself on the back, the good philanthropist LeBron James? I don't know. Last week, members of Akron School Board began taking a closer look at James's so-called I Promise School and found that real academic achievements are few and far between, more like zero in far between. The state of Ohio also found problems. Oh boy. Um, per Yahoo News, two of I Promise's biggest subgroups of students, blacks, students, and those with disabilities are now testing in the bottom 5% in the entire state, y'all. Bottom 5% in the state where they have smaller classrooms, more teachers, more money. Yeah, 5% in, in the state. Landing the school on the Ohio's Department of Education's list of those requiring targeted intervention. It needs an intervention. The school needs an intervention. You know what an intervention is? Where people got to come into your house and see what your problem is and try to fix you. What's wrong with your house, LeBron James? Why does they got to come and fix your problems? Oh my goodness. An intervention. LeBron Akron School Board President Derek Hall said he was disappointed by the school's serious deficits. Oh my God. For me as a board member, I just think about all the resources that we're providing. I mean, Hall told media and I and I just I'm just disappointed that I don't think it doesn't appear like we're seeing a kind of change that we would expect to see. I mean, after all those millions of dollars we done poured into that school and them kids and them, they're not even performing. Yeah. I feel your pain, friend. What's his name? Derek Bell. I, I, Derek Hall. I feel your pain, friend. Keith Lacey Crif Crawford, Clifford, Clif Clifford, the Akron School District Director of School Improvement said, it is discouraging. Look at this. One chance is all you need. One chance is all you need. And here he is giving them one chance. That's all they need. And they can't even do it. They can't even take it. They can't take it and run with it. One chance is all they need. And he's giving it to them. Again, friends, it's the culture. So let's move on with the read. James's school makes airy assertions about how important education is on its website. On a page touting its I promise method. Methods. Oh boy, we're going to read the methods. With education, with education as the driving force of change, the LeBron James Family Foundation is not only spreading that impact and improving lives of inner city students and families, but shifting the course of an entire community. Entire community. Focusing on his hometown of Akron, the foundation's I Promise program provides year-round resources year-round 
resources, access to opportunities, supportive skills, development, constant encouragement, and other wraparound supports to more than 1,300 Akron public school students who have all been guaranteed college scholarships if they do their part. Again, if they do their part, what it say? One chance is all you need. If you do your part, one chance is all you need. Though these efforts have accumulated in the groundbreaking new public school, the I Promise School, that is taking an innovative approach to providing a challenging, supportive, and life-changing education, creating a new model for urban public education. James earned much media praise. The king, the king. We're going to worship the king. This James earned much media praise for dropping into Akron in 2018 to announce his grand school funding ideas. It's a huge moment, not only in my life, not only in my family's life, not only in the foundation's life, but for these kids and for the whole city of Akron. More importantly, James said in a speech on opening day, this is a huge moment for us all. It is. It was. It could have been. But it soon came to light that Ohio taxpayers were still paying most of the school's expenses, just like any other school, huh? More than 75% of the funding is still coming from government sources, taxpayers and government sources on top of his money. I mean, okay. There is also still inner city crime to deal with on the campus of James's school, too. Last year, a teen was beaten to death. Oh, my God. In the school's parking lot. Oh, that's right. I did read that. Uh, oh, boy. Now the Ohio Department of Education is about to pour even more state-funded resources into the I Promise School in a desperate attempt to increase test scores. They're about to pour more money over bad? They're going to put more money into bad? Yo. In hopes of turning the failing school around, the Akron School District has assigned a new principal for the coming school year. That candidate, Stephanie Davis, pronounced her hopes for the future. One of the things that I'm most excited about coming into the I Promise School is the optimism and energy around getting our students to a level of achievement we know they're capable of. Davis said at, at the recent board meeting on prelim, preliminary um, data, data was shared, but it's important to note that proficiency is based on mastering grade level standards. But board president Derek Hall also tried to take the, the heat off of LeBron's foundation saying that criticism should be on the heads of school officials, not the foundation. The foundation's not here to educate our kids, Hall said. That's our job. Still, it is remarkable that despite all the media stroking James received for his investment plans, he is also getting a pass for that same school utter failure to educate. Yeah. You know, I'm reminded of the story. You can take somebody to the water, but you can't make them drink. You can literally give these children everything but they just can't succeed because they're living in situations that is dire, broken families, broken homes, you know, where it's single mothers working two or three jobs just to try to do this thing. No men in the home, 
No matter how many tutors you put in there, no matter how many millions of dollars you throw at it, no matter how much how much how the the, the classroom sizes are small, it don't matter. This thing is brewing in the homes of these children. And this is the reason that they cannot succeed. They don't have somebody at home working with them to, you know, they, they don't have somebody at home to do that. And no matter how much you pour into it, it's just going to be what it is. So these kids have an opportunity to go to college. I would think, you know, the mothers would be on top of that. Like, look, you better be on your schoolwork. You better be on your schoolwork because you're going to go straight to college. I don't have no money to put you to school. You're going to get you a college degree out of this. Any event, friend, we're going to wrap up this here video. Um, but one thing I'd like to say is that instead of them pouring more money into this school, one, I would say if they turned it into a Christian school, these kids would be reading in six months, three months, okay? They would be reading or doing their math. They'd be able to do math, whatever it is. They probably can't read either. Um, but I would like to say is that perhaps all isn't lost. Maybe they can turn that into some sort of trade school where they're teaching these kids actual skills, mechanic, I don't know, skills, how to fix a car, how to fix ACs, how to fix, give them a skill. Teach them how to be productive in the society. Maybe this is another way you can give them a win, LeBron. Turn your school into some sort of business training facility for these black kids. Find a way to engage with them so that they can become, you know, they can be interested in the thing, in the work. And then perhaps you would be putting more skilled workers out here in the world where you could put them to work to make your shoes and you don't have to go to China to make your shoes. You can put them to work. That's a good idea, Manya. That is a goddamn good idea. LeBron James, you can stop using those Chinese people, Chinese kids out there. Use your own kids in your own school. How about that? How about that? Build, build yourself a factory. Put those little kids to work. You don't mind dealing with it in China. Put them, put them to work in your school. Give them skills. Any friend, anyway, friends, I'm going to move on. That's the video. Thank you for watching, sharing, and subscribing. And I will see you in the next one. Hey, like, share, and subscribe.